to the show. <laughs> to the show. <laughs> Our second show. Yeah. Number two. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome back. Yeah. How Welcome are you doing? The... Ah, I'm doing great. And you? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a rough week, like we were talking. Yeah, earlier. yeah, yeah. It's a hard week. A lot of yeah. stuff. Uh, exams. And the the exam is going to be next week, but yeah. For the study, mm. it's been a hard week. Yeah. It was a hard week. Yeah. They uh, they keep us on edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always something. There. Yeah. We had so much stuff to do, mm. like uh, work for, um, for example, one class. Yeah. And studying for another class. And at the same time, studying for another class. So, mm. yeah. And doing two, um, two classes at the same time. Yeah. That's... Uh, That's what do you mean two classes at um, the same time? We like have a... uh, pain. Oh, and for example, right. We have uh, our uh, class okay. for uh, physiotherapy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So sometimes we had three classes at yeah, the same yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. That was tough because you need to, mm. to give work uh, every single day. And like you're coming back at home and like, okay, I'm doing this and this and yeah. this and this. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's hard to focus on just one thing. Yeah. You know, so you have to learn at least in this program or like any any health help the uh, healthcare fields. Like it's like you have to set your mind on one task and then even though you're not done with that task, you you have to switch your yeah, your brain yeah. yeah to, to do the next thing you have to do. So it's always uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to compartment carp compartmentalize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Think about the next thing, mm. but think about the prison yeah. if you don't want to, to not do correctly the work. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, I mean, I, I think that's the goal to, to, to juggle. Is that right? No. To juggle. Yeah. To, to, uh, to manage multiple. To manage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. To manage multiple tasks and to, to manage the stress. Some yeah. people doesn't have the, uh, yeah. the ability to exactly. manage their stress and that's exactly. the big issue. Yeah. Because sometimes the people are really bright, mm. but the stress come in and they just disappear. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I think it's the biggest challenge in this program. Yeah. I think it's the to manage the, the stress. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, as, as you say, uh, many people are so bright, but then they come in and they have so many terrifying. things to do. Uh, or or during, during the um, exams, like, you know, the... Uh, we call them uh, clinical exams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like... In French, it's ECOS. ECOS, yeah. yeah. What does that stand for, actually? Uh, uh, I, that's evaluation of... Um, it's like a simulation cases. something. It's yeah, like yeah. a clinical simulation exam or, or something, yeah, something like that. Like that. It's a so, practical exam, yeah. Yeah. So you can know all of your theory and then you come in and you have to do your stuff and then it just... You it freeze. Just, it just yeah. freeze. You just block, and then it happens to me. It, uh, it happened to me uh, oh, yeah. one time, like for maybe the 10 first seconds. Time. The ah, first exam. I think it was the second time. We were second. it's it, we were changing changing a room, and uh, I came in the second room and I thought it was the first patient, the, the case. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, I need to do this, 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 and I'm like, didn't see the sheet, like I yeah. I. I, I uh, I need to read the, 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 the patient case yeah. to like do something. Yeah. And I completely completely forgot to, to read it. And I just <laughs> take time to like three seconds. Yes. I just read read it and yeah. came in and mm -hmm. okay, that's all right. Mm. Let's start let's restart from the beginning. Yeah. But some that's people really just block freeze and like, oh no, I'm gonna fail or yeah. imagine these people in real life. Mm. That's it's crazy. That's really that's the main challenge. Yeah. Because the the stuff you have to learn is not that. I mean, yeah, you have to be smart, but like not extra smart. No, it's it's a yeah. lot of stuff, but it's not. It's manageable. Difficult. Yeah. yeah. The, the the hard part is really to manage the stress. Yeah. Because th those um, exams, they 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 make it so that it's an exam of managing stress. Because you you have three stations, and then the first door has a. A case study, you have to read it, understand what the patient has, and then uh, do your own thing. Yeah. And then you you have what, like one minute to, to read the... You have uh, one minute to read the, uh, yeah. the case of the patient. And then the bell rings. Yes. And just everyone and comes then in enter. each room. Yeah, and open the door. Hello, Mr. Mrs. Yeah. And what, you have like seven minutes to do that station? 
It depends on the station, but or twelve generally around yeah. seven or twelve. The last time was twelve, but we yeah. had a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, to do the avil uh, the um, uh, did we have to do the evaluation? Don't remember. Um, we have to do the uh, roam. Yeah. For the um, range of motion. Yeah, range of motion. Uh, the the force of the patient. But did we have to take information from the patient, or we already got it? I um, remember that. <laughs> well, I think there was like an opening scenario where it was like a, it was kind of an interview, but yeah, it was yeah, not yeah, focused yeah. on the on that part. It was more focused on the objective evaluation. Yeah, exactly. So take measure and yeah. stuff like this. Yeah. But I remember there was one guy uh, who uh, was showing signs of depression. Remember that 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 patient? Yeah. And we that were not me. sure, like. Because they, they teach us if the patient shows signs of any yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. mental illness. And we were illness. practicing it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we practiced that scenario. Yeah. But then they said, oh, that exam is not going to be on, on the psychological uh, evaluation. Yeah, but exactly. then this guy was clearly not okay. He was not feeling right. <laughs> he was no. really not feeling no. right. And they teach you as a physiotherapist, you cannot uh, go on with your evaluation if, if, if they you show something not normal. Red flag. Yeah, yeah red flag, mm -hmm. as we call it. Yeah, so it was really borderline. <laughs> I mean, in this case, uh, if they didn't mm. said that that would not be in the exam, I would, yeah. I would probably would like have, okay talk about it and you would have pushed do something, yeah, because he was not feeling all right. And that's the thing; some people just don't see it. Yeah, they came, they come in and talk about uh, the case of the patient, but forgot that the patient is a real person or mm -hmm. a real, I don't know how to say it yeah. it's, a, it's a human yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a human it's yeah. not a, it's not an object it's yeah. a human some people doesn't see it yeah yeah and they they keep telling us this every time like the 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 patient has to be in the center exactly in the center it's not a a disease that you mm -hmm. treat but it's the patient, it's patient exactly pain. yeah and actually there are so many factors that come into play like let, let's take for example someone who has a, a lower back pain right yeah chronic pain yeah yeah and uh, is it actually the the lower back that's the problem is is that really what, what's going on or is it something else is it the chicken or the that? egg is, is that the expression the chicken what? or the egg the chicken or the egg i've heard about it but i, I let's see uh, is it the, uh, the chicken that came first or yeah. the egg Ah, right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So is it the chronic pain mm -hmm. or the emotion, the stress? And sometimes, sometimes it's, uh, most of the time it's the stress, I do believe. Yes. I, I, I believe so. And yeah. actually there are studies that show one of our professors. Yeah. Um, Tuzignan. Professor Tuzignan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, uh, he's, the he's the director of the chief. <laughs> the, he's the commander. The, the commander of the physio program at Sherbrooke. Yeah. But he, uh, his main focus is 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 that, like how are Chronic these uh, how are these like other spheres stress, uh, you know, problems at your work, uh, any kind of psychological uh, aspect aspect of, the, of yeah. your life. How can it affect your um, your pain? Yeah, and there's a direct correlation, not causation, correlation. Right? So, so as a physical therapist, sometimes you need mm -hmm. to. Uh, It's, it's more about uh, the approach of psychology yeah. than the uh, more mechanical mm -hmm. strategy you, that you need to use. So you need to see, okay, what's the problem here? Yeah. Is it, the, is it the, the pain in the lower back or is it the stress, the, pace, the, pain, the depression sometimes? Yeah. So it can change uh, the diagnostic really quick. Yes. Yeah. And it, it, it orientates the, the focus of the, of the therapist. Right? Should you put more attention on the, on, on the actual physiological aspect, aspect of the back? Mm -hmm. Or should you put your attention towards, you know, like trying to get, him, get the patient to, to recognize that there are other factors influencing his, exactly. his condition? And that's difficult because sometimes, I mean, often, mm -hmm. the, the patient has this uh, condition for a really good long time. Yeah. So to change his mentality, to change his uh, vision is really difficult and you need to to uh, bring new strategies to the table and say, okay, that's the thing. 
it's not the because you you work for for a uh, for this company that you and uh, I don't know how to say it. You had an accident or uh, I don't know. You 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 fall. Mm -hmm. That's not the main cause. Sometimes yeah. it's just it happened before, but after that the chronic pain happens because you are stressed. Uh, depression as well as I said and yeah yeah that changed a lot of things and that's crazy because you men sometimes as, as we said it's not about the, the mechanical problem it's the psych the psychological problem Psycho I, I don't know psychological it, problems yeah exactly yeah and that's not the the first thing that comes to your mind sometimes because you just see the person yeah. the muscles the bones yeah and say okay maybe that's the problem because It's, I, I don't know. Yeah. And what controls your body? It's the brain. It's the brain. Yeah. So... Uh, like you, you can see the, the brain as a mechanical kind of thing, but sometimes yeah. the psychological yes. aspect is invisible. Mm -hmm. and that's really tricky Very as a tricky. professional that you, you want to help people. Yeah. Yeah. And it can be hard too. Like, because we're not... Uh, By all means, we're not psychologists. Exactly. Psych yeah. Psychologists, we're we're physiotherapists. Right? We we treat the body. Yeah. But then so many things affect the body, and they teach us that you know we 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 have to you know target that uh, that other sphere. But I think it it has a much more um, impact, like a higher impact mm -hmm. than we think. Yeah. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, And that's going to be a challenge too, yeah. I believe. I yeah. hope that they're going to teach us more about that. because, But I have a feeling that they're not. Because it's still oriented. Well, they, they say, you know, the patient is, is in the middle and everything. But mm -hmm. it's still a biomedical model. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's not they're, a, they're trying yeah, to... Yeah. Ergotherapists that we, uh, we work with, uh, ergotherapists, and they are more focused on... Uh, yeah psychological aspect yeah they, so at this time they are uh, treating real patient really uh, yeah real patient and it's not about uh, 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 pain in, on the in the arm or something like that it's because uh, the patient uh, has a psychological psychological okay. uh, aspect that doesn't work okay yeah you need to treat it and yeah so thank goodness so they learn strategies to yeah Yeah, that's good that we have those those because they are um, so we're talking about uh, occupational therapist. Oh, that's oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how they're it. called. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> that's how they're called here. Occupational therapist. So yeah, they deal a lot more with that uh, yeah. environment sphere. So it 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 kind of works out, right? We focus yeah. on the body. They focus on the yeah. on more um, the other spheres, but it's always uh, good as a. As a, as, a, to, as yeah, a health professional, right? Focus on these two things. Yeah, right. That makes the, the human. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> today we were not going to talk about that. Yeah, but, we were not but, supposed to talk about this. Yeah, but. so we, we, we thought of a, like a way to, to do this podcast is um, just to uh, uh, get our old cases mm -hmm. and just uh, talk about them. Yeah, exactly. And uh, today... This is that we saw in That class. we saw, yeah. yeah. So it hasn't been that long ago. It's still fresh in our mind. Maybe one or three, two weeks. Yeah. One or two weeks ago. And, it's not that uh, bad, yeah. Well, it's not that bad. So uh, we were, were just done the unit of uh, cardio, uh, cardiovascular, cardio respiratory class. Yeah. And we, we thought of... Uh, doing the first, doing first thing the, that we yeah. learned in the, this class is it's yeah. the, the mm -hmm. heart, the main pieces of the heart, probably everything. Right. After maybe the, the brain, yeah. as we saw earlier. Yeah, <laughs> we, we can do the brain too, but that's a little bit further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, let's, a, that's, let's talk that's last that. year, yeah, so yeah, yeah. we'll have to study, restudy all that. Uh, uh, so what's fun with, with these cases is that they, re they represent really uh, the clientele that we're going to have. Mm -hmm. Like it's, uh, they, they make a good job of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, yeah so it's, it's going to help us in our, in our future um, oh, that's for practice. Sure. Yeah. So today um, we are going to discuss about a man named... Uh, um, How do you want so to call it's, it? <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a French name, so I'll just say it the French way. 
Euh, monsieur de la chance. Mr. Mr. La chance. La chance. La chance. <laughs> As you'll see, he's not very lucky after yeah. all. <laughs> um, okay, so he's 48 years old. Um, he's, um, he's a very stressed out uh, man mm -hmm. because uh, he, he, he's, he's running a trucking company. He's, ah. he's actually uh, ma managing the trucking company. Yeah. Um, fortunately, though, he hasn't been smoking for about five years now. So right. uh, he's 48, you know, he stopped five years ago. So that's a you know, well, great most, thing. Yeah. It's, it's a great thing, but still, he uh, smoked for the yeah, well, a good part time. of his yeah, life. Yeah. Uh, but since he stopped, he gained about uh, 10 kg. Oh, so. Sorry. That's, uh, that's like 20, what, 23 pounds? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, surely. Yeah. And so, Monsieur Lachance needs to change his lifestyle, which uh, is what his doctor told him. Yeah. Okay. Probably, yeah. The aspect of stress is really important. Stress. Yeah, stress. Yeah. Hypertension. Hypertension. So, the, the effects of, uh, of stress on, let's say... Oh, we're going to talk about it here <laughs> in, in, in the next paragraph. I'll just read it. Um, at his last, uh, last uh, checkup six months ago, he had uh, high cholesterol, mm -hmm. high blood pressure, and a resting heart rate of 88 beats per minute. 88. All right. So you said just earlier before the show, yeah. the average... Average is between 50 mm -hmm. for a really uh, fit trained person, for, okay. for example, Natty. Yeah. So 50. And about 80. 50 and 80. Okay, yeah. so he's so, so, so he's, he's a bit slightly, high. He's so his heart high. is going much faster. So okay. 8 beat more than uh, eight, normal. 8 yeah. more beats. Okay. Beats. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, did you know? I, I just <laughs> learned this uh, yesterday. Every minute, your heart pumps on average 5 liters yeah. of blood. And what is 5 liters of your blood? What do you mean? It's every single liter of your entire body. Yeah. So it pumps every liter of exactly. your body yeah, yeah, yeah. at each yes. minute. Each That's minute. Crazy. Every minute. Yeah. Can you imagine? That's crazy. I'm not aware of any other pump that's so <laughs> efficient. <laughs> I mean, think yeah. about it. Like, let's say what well, the average person lives until what? Uh, let's say uh, 70, 80. Yeah. 75, 80, the average. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it, it, just, just, just think about that. How many liters is that? It's a lot. <laughs> Pumps it every minute. Every minute. Imagine just in a day. Just in a day. Just yeah. in an hour. Just start yeah. with a day and then let's, let's go further. But so what? So five liters every minute, every 24 hours. Yeah. What is that? Don't ask me the question. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so all this it's is five say, times 60 for an hour. Just 60 say? minutes, 5 liters, okay, so that's so, 300 liters. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, 300 times 24, 24 yeah. that's every day. And the the, uh, the result is the uh, amount of blood. Yes. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on, yes. <laughs> But it's crazy. Okay, mm -hmm. um, Okay. so we have, uh, he has high cholesterol. Yeah. So, how does that impact Why is it so important when, when we say to someone, why is cholesterol so bad for you? It depends on which cholesterol, but I'm not sure of which right now. Yeah. But it can go, the cholesterol is, uh, I don't know how to say it, it's fat. Yeah, fat. And fat mm -hmm. can go in your uh, arteries mm -hmm. and in the, uh, the inside portion. Mm -hmm. So you have, imagine your artery and the, uh, the, the, the fat goes here. So the blood doesn't uh, go in your arteries much easily because you have a resistance because the, um, they call it lumière in French, but it, I think it's the... Lumen. Lumen. The lumen. So the lumen, the, the, the space is uh, much, uh, it's less bigger. It's, uh, le it's, uh, yeah. So uh, the, the diameter of the, yeah. of the lumen is um, smaller. Smaller, yeah. yeah. So it's smaller. So the blood mm. is... Uh, trying uh, is uh, have more difficulty to pass through the artery so yeah. it can bring more uh, tension to the artery because the artery gonna expand to uh, to um, to let space for for the blood mm -hmm. to come in 
and to go to tissues and muscles and etc. So the, the yeah the blood have more difficulty to pass through yeah. and the the heart needs to contract more to make more pressure and to push even harder on the the blood to mm. pass through the artery. Right. And that's not a good thing because you're putting pressure on the artery, so it can rupture, it can uh, rupture. It's not good. It's not. And you, <laughs> as we say, the 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 the, the heart pumps much. Uh, harder yeah so it can uh, I mean the the heart's gonna fatigue yeah it's gonna yeah yeah it's gonna and that that thing lead to um, cardiac insufficiency I believe I do believe yeah it basically just means it's just having a hard time yeah. to, to to pump those five liters of blood because your your tissues they always need oxygen they always need nutrients so that's uh, kind of like a independent variable mm -hmm. right like you you live your 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 day and you always use the muscles in the same way pretty much and yeah. they always need the same thing so you, you can't really change that mm -hmm. what, what what has to change is the heart how yeah. the heart is gonna push right so um Yeah, and so you were talking about cholesterol going into the uh, going uh, sticking onto the walls of the arteries. Yeah, inside. So, yeah. So that's uh, we're talking about atherosclerosis. Athero, atherosclerosis. Yeah. And that, what's the difference between art? Ar the other thing? Arteriosclerosis. Arterio, yeah, that's the. So uh, I think you started mentioning about it, like when uh, when the pressure is too high into the artery, it's gonna exert. A higher pressure on the sides exactly. on the walls yeah and that higher pressure over time is gonna maybe lead to a rupture like you were talking about yeah. so uh, actually arteriosclerosis is just the process of your walls of the arteries having a hard time mm -hmm. they just uh, you know so most of the time arteriosclerosis I don't know how Ar to say it. Arteriosclerosis or... The first thing that we... Atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is going to yeah. lead to the uh, arteriosclerosis. It can. Yeah. It can. Yeah, Most it of can. Them. Yeah, uh, it can. Um, and actually what's really... Uh, well, it's not, it's not funny, but... It can... A atherosclerosis can be considered as a, a effect of aging. Like, yeah. it's not... It's weird because it's 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 pathologic, but at the same time it's just aging because I was reading uh, atherosclerosis mm -hmm. starts at age fifteen. Yeah, it's a, yeah. yeah, it's really yeah. you're a kid and you're already starting that process. Yeah, it's really low at the beginning. It's low. The effect is more in yeah, the, and obviously like so but... there there's absolutely no effect mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah, even actually you can have a a a a heart attack and. Just before that, your entire life, you, you, you can have no symptoms. Mm -hmm. So it can just happen, bam. Yeah. So you suddenly. Know. Yeah. And, and you have no idea. That's on that. Yes. Yeah. So that's, that's, page, yeah. Th that's why it's important to raise your kids <laughs> and uh, well and like foster the idea of eating healthy because mm -hmm. it starts really early. You, yeah. know, you know, think about it. Like for me... Um, You know, when I was a kid, I didn't, I didn't eat uh, that that healthy. When I think about it, for you, oh, I yeah, no, that. no, no, I changed the, I changed my because uh, you're in shape, but you not. I'm okay now. Yeah. No, no, I was uh, actually I was, I don't know if if it was considered obese, but I was overweight. For real. Yeah, I was wow. over. I, I I never told you this, but I no. was I I was <laughs> no, overweight. That's the first time. Until, <laughs> the first until, time I you yeah, talk about it. Yeah. Until I was 18 years old. And that's the and moment. And then I change. had a yeah, I had a switch. I was like, uh, you know, geez, like I, I gotta, I gotta do something about this. And what happened know. at this moment? Just your brain like said, yeah, okay. Yeah, there I need was to... a switch that happened, and then since then I just, uh, nobody told me, nobody forced me. It was just wow. intrinsic, and I just changed completely. I became, and then I, I became the total opposite. You know, I was yeah. Uh, you you were talking about I, the doing. How does it call it? Um, I just said uh, naturalist, but it's not the, the right word. Give me a hint. Uh, growing muscles. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, I was big into bodybuilding. Bodybuilding. So, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. And I kind I kind of pushed it too hard. You went to bodybuilding. But it was uh, it was like the I was here and then I just flipped. It was just the contrary yeah. of, of what I was doing. That's before. not a good thing. Losing it's, um it uh, a yeah. lot of weight at the same time. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it happened gradually, oh, okay. but it was more my, my mentality was completely reversed. But uh, anyways, so all, all, this to say, <laughs> all this to say that for the first 18 years, you know, uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't eating, uh, you know, McDonald's every day, but yeah. I, w- I was just not as conscious as, what, as how I'm eating now. Your alimentation, alimentation was not as great as today. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So anyways, all this to say that it starts early. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's very important to, you know. Yeah. And sometimes it's unlucky. You have a disease or yeah. something. Your blood uh, is For more, sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So a big part of le- like risk factors for atherosclerosis, high blood pressure, even heart attack is just uh, bad. Bad habits. Bad habits. Alimentation, exercise. That's if most you're, of uh, If you don't uh, move enough, it's going to... Mm-hmm going to be more... Uh, That's most of it. Yeah. Yeah. But there's always a, ge- a, a genetic part to it. Yeah. And That's, we, we cannot uh, measure this uh, no. risk because it depends on yeah. people. And, yeah. We can kind of measure it because they know certain genes are linked yeah. to this. But on a normal but person, you won't, uh, you no, won't no, no, know no. it. Yeah. No, no. It's not everybody who goes uh, gets their... Uh, gets their um, What's it called? The company that does the DNA test. It oh, tests your yeah. whole genome. 23 and me. That's what it's oh, called. Yeah. It's like a, you, you um, order this, it online. Yeah. This, they bring you... Is a, that fake? No, no, no. It's Is true. It? It's oh. true. It's called 23 and me. I right? thought it was fake. No, no. It's no? real. It's real. Wow. And, and they, they send you a home test? kit. They or? send you a home kit. And then they say, okay, pull out a piece of hair. Put it here. Send it back to us. A piece of hair and that's Just, it? That's it. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird, but and you then you send it to the company you and contact yeah, with yeah. the result. And then uh, you have your online profile, and then they just update everything. Like you're you're at risk for this because you have this what? allele. This yeah. For every f- single disease. Um, probably not every disease, but most. The main. Uh, the main things like breast cancer is a big one. Breast cancer. And yeah. You can measure it. Oh, I don't remember the, na- the name of the gene for breast so cancer. So specific. Very. Wow. But I believe it's expensive. Oh, you and did And there's not do also... It. No, no. Okay. I, 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 we should I, do it for an episode. Maybe. Yeah, we should do that it. Would be, uh, <laughs> that would be interesting. I read but your file, we, you read my file. That's because oh, you know every single uh, risk that you have. Yes. And the, the, the percentage. I don't mm-hmm. know what to say. Yeah. yeah. Angelina Jolie, you know her? Yeah. The actress? Yeah. Do you, do you she know had she she two, had uh, two breast cancer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had uh, she had two her breast, breast re- removed because she knew that she had the gene oh, before the yeah. uh, oh she knew I thought that she had it. Um, no, I oh. think uh, I I think she found out that she had the gene for for that is high risk for breast cancer, and she and then she just said, "I don't want to deal with breast cancer." Wow! Chop it off. I mean, if you know it before yeah. it happened, I mean. Things but breast like, cancer is one of those things where like it's high risk like it's uh, yeah. above 40% risk so it's like it's substantial yeah but, uh, but the surgery can have a lot of impact on uh, lymphatic uh, system so okay. the uh, yeah. the liquid that comes back in your uh, about here mm-hmm. and when you remove a part of your uh, cancer uh, breast cancer you can remove a part of the lymphatic system mm. so the uh, I don't know how to say it in uh, French, uh, in English but then. Edema. Uh, edema, yeah. Edema. Can cause a lot of edema and... Uh, For sure. Can uh, cause a lot of problems after it, yeah. So sometimes... I'm it's, sure there are some yeah, effects. Yeah, it's risky. It's risky to have the cancer and yeah. it's risky to have the surgery. Yeah. I mean, you, you take the surgery, but mm. you, can have, uh, you can lead some other problems that you didn't know at first. For sure. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's hard. Yeah. For sure. And like... You're not going to be covered by the by the public healthcare system if you just uh, show up because here our our system is public. Yeah. But if you just show up, you say, "Hey, I have a twenty three and me test, and I'm at risk for this. Can you can you operate me?" Eh, I'm not sure they're going to say you're yes. Not, yeah. They're, you're not going to. So there's a Probably cost. Probably private. Yeah. 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 But I think the weird part for me would be, like, let's say you have all all the results, and you're like, "God damn, I'm at risk for this." 
I'm at risk for this. Imagine you're gonna it become, happens. You know, it happen, imagine it happens like in five years. You have your, your result here, mm-hmm. and in five years you have the 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 the, the disease that they they send in the test. <sighs> imagine you would be like, wow. That's they were actual. right on it. They were right on that's, it. That's that's crazy too. But because it's like future. You know the future. Yeah. That's weird. But again, think it's about like, the the brain. Like you yeah, see the, the result. Yeah. Like how we can't calculate this, but how much is it? Maybe it's just the fact that your brain was just you were just thinking about it, and then the brain created the disease. Think about that. It, it I, could it could because you could be more stressed. Mm-hmm. Imagine uh, hypertension. You will die of um, of a stroke, maybe. Mm-hmm. So you you stress more because you, you, you know the results. Maybe mm-hmm. you stress more. Right? Uh, so yeah. hypertension, hypertension in a lot of mechanism can lead maybe for for a stroke. So you die because you were stressed because of the result that you had. Yeah. That that would be weird. So I don't know. Yeah. Why. It's uh, you need to take it. Uh, not the one hundred percent. Yeah, you need to take a step back. Yeah, a step back. Exactly. You will have to just look Second at the degree. test and uh, and just say. Uh, That's not me. <laughs> um, yeah, you, but you have to take a step back and just and just say, uh, okay, I'm more at risk for this. You know, okay. So let's say you have. Um, I know there's a gene uh, that codes uh, like high risk for LDL, the LDL cholesterol, which is the oh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that's the bad. Cholesterol. Okay. So some people have uh, like excess of LDL, uh, like more at risk, and then uh, okay, well then you avoid the things that can create mm-hmm. LDL cholesterol. But some people will, uh, but not touch to every single thing that relate to uh, yeah. this disease. Then that's that yeah, taking it to the extreme. Yeah. So I, I don't know I'm how not... much harm it would do. I don't know. Is that would it, would that give you more harm to have the actual test done or not? I don't know. Hmm. I think you would have to discipline yourself. It's a ethical problem. But the brain, man. The brain. Like coming back to the brain. The psychological it's effect. Because you, you can measure it. I, I, probably. You, you could. Placebo. I don't know. Placebo effect. The, yeah. the, the what placebo, is the placebo effect? The placebo <laughs> effect is the only way we can measure how much the brain has an influence on, on what we do. Mm-hmm. We were talking the other day. The placebo effect... Has a like? Oh, a, you said the the percentage, yeah. It's the like 30 thirty percent oh, effective. That's which is more than than most drugs. Yeah. Sometimes not all, but like some of it's them. It's extremely yeah. high. Like we well, should not neglect the placebo effect. Seriously, I mean, you need to to use it uh, intelligently. But. Intelligently, yes. Because some people just give placebo every single time mm. or abuse it. I don't know. It's uh, you need tact, you need the uh, strategies, you need um, to have the, the, the vision or the the, yeah. the the right way to say it to the patient. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you, hmm, it's kind of weird to mm. you, you want to help the patient, but you don't give the medication. You give, <laughs> me, for example, a uh, sugar. Yeah. It's and that's the the solution, and it works. Uh, yeah, it works. Uh, I don't know how I would feel because you help the patient, mm. but at the same time you did not. <laughs> yeah, you did not give a treatment because you know that physiologically speaking, the effects of that pill did nothing jack at all. Shit, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I, I mean, as as a professional, I I don't even think you're allowed. I'm to not sure. prescribe uh, That's, a pill of I, sugar. I, I think uh, your friend, uh, one of your friends, was mentioning that the for the placebo effect to work, the the health professional has to also believe. Yeah. Uh, ha- has to be unaware of what he's giving is a placebo. Yeah. He has to, he has to be part of the experiment. It's called a double blind, right? Yeah. The patient is blind, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. So tell me something. Yeah. So he has to also be part of the project, but then. I don't know in which condition you 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 could <laughs> use this strategy. Yeah, but like you said, you you can probably use it wisely. For example, they talk but... about the this in physical therapists. For example, uh, yeah. massage. 
they sometimes uh, it is a more effect on stress uh, than a physical or mechanical effect. Right. So you do a massage or something like this, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really affect on the the the, the, the region or the um, the the problem, the mechanical problem. Mm -hmm. They affect on the stress, um, yeah. the the patient, and stress is linked to pain. Mm -hmm. So if you have probably less pain, less stress, you probably will have less pain. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a placebo. Yeah. But I'm not sure because relaxation could do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But one yeah. thing you uh, you need to pay, and the other thing you yeah. just need to breathe, breathe in, breathe out. Right. So is it a placebo? Yeah. I don't know. But relaxation and meditation and has physiological effects yes yeah. i mean the, yeah. the the sugar okay so the the sugar pill the sugar pill that you give the patient yeah you know that that pill is not going to do anything but the fact that you're giving it and telling the patient that this is going to help them mm -hmm. will that's, that's have a physiological effect yeah so in, in the end the pill has an effect yeah it's just in indirect yeah. but like relaxation and meditation has a direct effect yeah that's true. lowers your uh, yeah no i thought the the effect was more in the the, the placebo effect was more on the yeah. massage or because relaxation really yeah. have a uh, as you said uh physical physical physiological thank effect. you <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. yeah it does too for sure and that's, that's uh, something really important relaxation yeah as we thought earlier uh, managing stress. Stress is a big thing. Yeah. I personally it's believe... It's underrated, I think. Oh, it's, it's underrated. Totally it's underrated. It's so underrated. Yeah. I personally, I personally believe that stress is the cause of 80% of the diseases that we... 80%? 80%. You think that? Or it's a real... Uh, I have an 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule. It comes up many times. Oh, yeah, the 80-20 rule. So 80%, I believe that 80% is caused by just uh, stress. You know, think about it. Like all the, it, it comes up everywhere. Yeah. All, all the case studies that we, that we did. Yeah. And, the, and then there's a, well, okay, so let's say stress uh, and others like health habits and you know, yeah, eating habits. But stress is the biggest one, I, I, I think. Mm -hmm. And then 20%? Is just your genes. It's like, yeah, that's what I think, man. Like you're you're dealt a set of cards, yeah, and that's the thing that you cannot change. You have you have a but. Let's say you're 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 playing poker. You're dealt a, a like a set of cards, and they're all crappy. Mm -hmm. You can still win the game, with the cards that you have. Yeah. Hmm. That's how that's I view. Interesting. That's how I view life, actually. You know. In general, yeah. In, yeah. In general. You could play. With it's like okay, I got a, I got as as you know, I have a weak back. Yeah. I had lower back problems since I was uh, eighteen years old. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, I was given a bad back. Right. Mm -hmm. I have DDD, degenerative disc disease. Yeah. It sounds worse than it, than <laughs> than it, it actually is. Yeah. It's not like a natural disease. It's not cancer. <laughs> it's it's, it's like basically it. uh, the aging process of the discs, the intervertebral yeah. disc is just higher in me. So yeah. it's like I have the back of a, of a 45 year old. Yeah. I think that's what the doctor said. Yeah, but it's okay. So I, I was given that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So instead of focusing on that, I got to, you know, I, I got to, it's like, okay, I, I have this. What am I going to do about it? Mm -hmm. What did you change? Kind of thing. Well, oh. that's part of what I was talking about, you know, changing my health habits. Yeah. Uh, oh, losing weight. Old, yeah. yeah. 18 years old. Yeah, 18, yeah. Yeah. 80, I said so, 80. 80, <laughs> 80 years, years old. old. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> you don't look like 80. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's how I view, uh, that's how I view things. To work on things that it works. Yeah. But... Things that work, but they can also help with, like, help uh, my my back problems, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, stretching, exercising. Exercising. Is the things, those are the things Good that habits. will actually have an effect on lower back mm -hmm. problems. It's not taking a pill, you know. 
It, it'll maybe relieve your symptoms for a while, a few hours, mm -hmm. but then it's just going to come back. Pain yeah. is going to come back. What are you going to do about it? You're going to take another Manage pill? Manage the pain, yeah. So Some people really uh, like pills because you don't need necessarily... I mm. don't know how to say it because I don't want to be... Uh, yeah. Judgmental. Yeah. But uh, pills sometimes is the easier way to treat, uh, to treat a disease or something. Because sometimes, also in this generation, people, wants to, to, people want to, to treat the disease the easy way. The, the easy way. So yeah. to have a good alimentation, good habits, exercise, good sleep. It's a lot of... It's a, it's, It's a commitment. Commitment. You need to, to work on it. And for sure. It's more, uh, you need to put more effort on it. For sure. And pills, you just need to take the pill. And sometimes it will work and sometimes it will not. But it's, hey, it's kind of easier, I do believe. Because you need to, to just mm. take a water pill. And yeah. And sometimes people want to, to, mm. to have this kind of treatment because... It's just easier. It's easy and they don't want to, to do uh, my job. And it, yeah, it's, I don't know how to say it without yeah. being judgmental. Yeah. But you can say things honestly too. Yeah. You can say things like, like, look, people, yeah, like a pill is a lot easier. Yeah. It's the do. magical effect, I do believe. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. I mean... Sometimes it's the right way. Because you don't have uh, other, um, other solution. But sometimes it's like, mm -hmm. okay, uh, for example, you smoke all your life. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, a problem in your uh, respiratory uh, system. Mm. And you have two solutions. Take a pill or stop smoking. Which one's easier? Which more? I do believe... Taking pills is more easier. For sure. But the more efficient way is to stop smoking. Yeah. Because you, you will have an effect on every single system of your body. Right. But, But that's more effort. As human beings, we are somehow programmed to take the easiest way. Mm -hmm. And it's it much takes, faster also. It's faster. They didn't say that, but it's yeah. more fun. It's, it's, it's just this, uh, this instinct that we have is to... Uh, put the less effort to achieve the best result possible. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you should go left, but you're going right. So like, like you're like, let's say you have a, we were talking about um, high blood pressure. Yeah. Hypertension. Exactly. There are pills, very mm -hmm. good pills yeah. that treat that. Exactly. And you take one and bam, it lowers it almost instantly. And then you just keep taking that and you're fine. Yeah. You can continue eating, smoking, um, smoking eating, eating crap, yeah, not eating, exercise, not exercising, uh, you know, and you can continue the lifestyle that you enjoy and then just pop that pill. Mm -hmm. But the problem is uh, there are side effects. Mm -hmm. Side effects? The side problem effects. is still here. You're just hiding it with pills. You're just hiding it. Yeah. Because as soon as you stop taking them, you're screwed. Mm-hmm. So you're, and on, on top of that, you're becoming dependent mm -hmm. on the pharmaceuticals. And so, I just want to say some, some disease uh, don't necessarily need pills. You can, as we talk about, mm -hmm. but sometimes, for example, Parkinson or something like that, you need to take pills to be, to, even if you yeah. have a great, um, great uh, habits, a great alimentation, you sure. do exercise, sometimes you just need To take it because yeah. it's uh, hormones mm -hmm. and you, you have an effect on hormones mm -hmm. but sometimes if it's yeah, yeah. degenerative uh, you can yeah. have um, more problems if you don't take the pill yeah absolutely so just want to say this because some For people sure. are gonna come with maybe uh, <laughs> uh, some yeah. disease come hypertension i think it's mm -hmm. a great uh, example for mm -hmm. um, taking pills and you don't necessarily have to take one if you yeah. change habits alimentation right. Right. but for example parkinson is a Good thing to, to take medication because yeah. this will help your, your um, how do you say it? Um, mm -hmm. uh, habit, uh, not, not changing habit, but your uh, yeah. way to live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will, have a, so, that will have an effect. Yeah. Absolutely. So some people are dealt a, a bad series of cards. And for example, Parkinson's, mm -hmm. we don't know 
uh, we don't know any like real uh, risk factors for that. Yeah, it's, there, uh, there yeah. are some, right? They, yeah, yeah, it's uh, um, like uh, in agriculture. Yeah, yeah, the, they use uh, some kind of a uh, chemical or something. Yeah, I forget. They uh, they taught us that. Yeah, I but, don't remember the name, but yeah. Yeah, some kind of chemical can can be genetic chemical. Um, chemical was like in the environment. Right. If you live in the rural uh, yeah. environment, you are more more likely to have uh, right. Parkinson. But yeah, but at what point? Yeah. At what point? We're not sure. What we do know is that it's highly genetic. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so you're 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 dealt a bad series of cards, and sometimes you don't have a choice. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the the medication is the only option, and yeah. that's totally fine. Yeah. For example, cancer or yeah. something. Yeah. But when TV. we're but when we're talking about hypertension, and uh, and like uh, cardio uh, cardiovascular uh, problems, um, disease. What's the disease called? Um, atherosclerotic cor- coronary yeah, heart that, disease. That, that, that okay. word. <laughs> this is like this. The the genetic uh, contribution of this disease is pretty low. Yeah, like, you have like, an impact, but it's yeah, it's it's really it's, low, yeah. it's considerably very low compared right? to compared uh, to cancer, uh, Parkinson, Parkinson's, yeah. any ne- neurological conditions. Exactly. Like this, you you, like if you have a heart coronary heart disease, it's because let's be honest, you probably did not have a good most of the time. Yeah. Most of the time, you right, pro- you probably time. did not eat well your entire life. Maybe you didn't exercise that much. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's it's. High risk. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah. So so, so sometimes the, the right way, left or right, mm-hmm. pill or no pill. Pill or no pill. In this case, what would you say for this man? He's forty eight. Forty eight. We haven't uh, finished his case. Do you want to yeah. come back to it? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Okay. So we talked about cholesterol. Mm-hmm. We talked about high blood pressure. Mm-hmm. The effects of high blood pressure, atherosclerosis, arteriosclerosis, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so, doctor prescribed. Mm. Here we go. Here we Here go. We go. Pills coming in. <laughs> Pop the pills. Yeah, you ready for this? Yeah. It's not that bad. They prescribed oh. anti anti-hypertensive medication. Yeah. And advise her to... Advise her? What? Oh, it's a uh, she... No, it's a Mr. Lachance. They did a mistake here. It's oh. advised him. Should uh, should <laughs> email <laughs> should email the school for that. She's nice. It's not the first time they screw up the the sex. Yeah. Okay, so advised to eat low fat, low salt diet, mm-hmm. and be physically active. Well, I like that doctor. Yeah. Those are the three main things, right? Eat well. Eat well. Uh, exercise. What's the other one? Exercise and. And alimentation. Uh, yeah, we already said that. Oh, okay. okay, so it's it's basically two things. So yeah. eat well and do exercise. Um, so Gonna eating play well, on fat. The the the, the fat yeah, aspect. Yeah. So fat aspect. So cholesterol, any kind of cholesterol. Yeah. But uh, man, I've heard like, remember when they said, "Oh, eating uh, eggs, a lot of eggs is bad for you." And then they came out with studies saying that no, that's that's not true. Oh, you can this. eat a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that up for next uh, next podcast. It's so interesting, because apparently you can eat as as much eggs as you want. You can eat butter if you want. And it like, won't uh, change your cholesterol. Yeah, like there are studies that just clearly said that that that's not true. Like like the, there's there's a link with cholesterol. Yes, cholesterol and at in atherosclerosis, but there's more to it. More to yeah, it. Like, there's um, there's more um, like studies have come out mm-hmm. that said that, that alimentation like eating eggs because eggs has a lot of cholesterol. Yeah, that's what I thought. And you can eat as mu- as many eggs as you want. Like there's something here. I'm not in the position to uh, to talk about it yet because I have to re- refresh yeah. my mind. But um, eat well. So eat well. Also playing cholesterol level. Yeah. Come back to. The mm-hmm. same thing every time. There's a, there's a very good quote. I'm not sure who uh, who who said that, <laughs> but uh, I I I often say this to many people is that you are what you eat. Yeah, yeah. Um, who is it? 
I don't remember. Uh, yeah, uh, everybody. I know this. The, I know the quote. But you are what you. It's true. Mm-hmm. Like that sentence, it cannot be more true. Because if you don't eat, you die, right? <laughs> so you are yeah. what you eat. Yeah. And if you eat junk, yeah. probably you will have a disease with that comes with it. Yeah. If you eat junk, you become junk. Yeah. Because the purpose of eating is to feed your cells. Mm-hmm. Your, your your body is made of cells. Every single aspect. The the the, the everything. skin, the, the, the bones, everything. the yeah, everything. Yeah. Everything is made of cells, protein. So if you feed that those cells crap, what do you think is gonna happen? The result is gonna the be The result's crap. gonna yeah. be crap. Yeah. What happens if you put diesel into a gas gasoline running car? You, it probably will start, yeah. but it won't. But uh, are you gonna go on the highway? No, and, uh, probably not. No, <laughs> I will stick around you. <laughs> are you gonna go home tonight? You know, mm, no, no, not, not sure. that car. Don't mm. do that with my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, diesel for a gasoline car is like. Junk food for your body. Yeah, and it's like hyper, high, it's like high blood pressure for your car. Yeah. Eventually, it'll. <laughs> it will explode. It's gonna explode. But you need to put it in a more recent aspect. For a, yeah. for example, electric cars. So for example, okay. uh, yeah. it's just a joke. But yeah. if you put water in your uh, in your car, yeah. instead of electricity, it won't start either. <laughs> Probably. Most definitely not. Or gasoline in your uh, electric car, it won't start. Yeah. Because you need electricity. <laughs> That's probably a very bad idea to yeah. put gasoline. <laughs> no, try it at home. Yeah. Not recommended. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, but you are what you eat. Yeah. I cannot agree more with that. Yeah. That could be the quote of the, <laughs> of yeah, the podcast. The, the, the quote of you are what, what you, you eat. Are what you eat. Yeah. 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 That's, uh, that presume it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. And you You are what you eat and you. I don't know how to say it. Exercise? Could we do a quote with exercise? Exercise? Exercise you do is... What, you uh, do what you are? <laughs> you do what... I don't know. <laughs> well, exercise... <clears throat> uh, we have a famous law for that. You know what, the, what that law is? Uh, I'm not sure of which one. <laughs> the law that we were debating on before... Uh, oh, the Wolf's Law. Before the show, yeah. Exactly, yeah. We can plug it here. Yeah, just plug it. What is the Wolf's Law? I don't think we can do an entire podcast no. on Wolf's Law. So let's just plug it here. Yeah, why not? So Wolf's Law. It's um, the adaptation of your body uh, reacting to stress. For reacting example, when you're stress. tennis players, mm-hmm. when they're hitting the, the ball... Yeah, they uh, cause stress on their their bones, mm-hmm. and the bones become a more uh, dense and more strong because mm-hmm. the cells adapt to the stress. Yeah, it's called mechanotransduction. Mechanotransduction. Yeah, so the 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 cells gonna develop uh, uh, capacity capacities or uh, special power, if you wanna mm-hmm. call it that way, to uh, to resist from the stress to yeah. not break. So it could be uh, bone, muscles, mm-hmm. tissue. Yeah. yeah, isn't that crazy? That's isn't it's, that it's, it's a su- superpower that we don't talk about. Uh, we don't talk about some it people much. say, for example, uh, oh, uh, they they start running and they, it's uh, difficult. For example, to 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 breathe the, the cardio is difficult. Yeah. So they're gonna say, oh, uh, it's not made. It's not made for me. But your body need to adapt uh, on the stress to mm-hmm. be more efficient and to uh, to pass through this uh, stress. And yeah. sometimes you don't need to, to push because uh, mm-hmm. you're going to just break your <laughs> entire body. Yeah. But yeah. it's a good way to, to put a little, uh, a little of stress on your body mm-hmm. that your cell could adapt to the stress right. and to uh, pass through the, the exercise, for example, you're doing stretching, it's the yeah. same thing. Yeah. It's, that's, yeah. it's the, it's, um, we can link it to uh, evolutionary biology too. Like that's how we. Uh, that's oh, we how develop, we, yeah. yeah, that's how we. Develop. For example, when the the the, uh, the, the first uh, people that walk mm-hmm. with two legs, yeah, the spine uh, uh, needed to adapt yes. to this new posture for sure. And this is why we're standing up today, yeah. or in this case, sitting uh, on the chair. But yeah, this is the the, the same. Do you know why? We, uh, I'm saying we, the grass, our our uh, ancestors, yeah, yeah. The grass was high, so to to see, uh, yeah, uh, they wanted to see, yeah, they wanted to see what was up around them, 
So they just wanna, tend to up have and a, continue walking. Yeah. But I, I think it's a theory. But uh, it makes sense. It's, it's a pretty well accepted theory. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I just uh, don't vision, want to take <laughs> Vision, vision. Uh, yeah. It allowed them to see predators around them. Mm-hmm. It's a huge advantage to other animals. Imagine you're just on four legs and all you can see is like the bush in front of you. Like if you're... Sound. In, yeah. yeah. Like you have a huge advantage if you're just up. You see before your enemies. You see before your enemies. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So Michelotan Jackson is... I still can't believe this. Like when we learned about that, that um, like what's happening in the cells for mechanical transaction. Mm-hmm. It, I, I, just, I still can't believe it. You, the, 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 a, a stress, a physical stress, so can be converted into a chemical, electrochemical signal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That With is hormones and, insane. Yeah, yeah. Like that, like, let's say, for example, um, uh, um, a bone, right? Right? Because, because Wolf's law was first um, applied to like uh, bone stress. Yeah. So the, the, the stress more, fracture, yeah. yeah, so the more you, uh, you exercise or, 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 yeah, so the more you exercise, the more that bone will, will increase its size to resist the strain that it's, it's yeah, the, the, that the force it's that you put in. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, the, the, the cell is, is connected to the outside world mm-hmm. with these things called the cytoskeletons. Oh yeah. The cytoskeletons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's uh, I'm not sure for bone, but for, for tendons. Tendons is more our, our field of work. Yeah. Um, but like tendons have, they're composed of these uh, cells called uh, called the t- tenocytes, right? Yeah. Tenocytes. Yeah. And they have like projections, and they're connected to the outside world with this cyto cyto. It's, it's like little arms, mm-hmm. like creeping out towards the outside, and the tension, the physical tension, is transmitted through these uh, little arms, these cytoskeletons, and they convert, it's converted into an um, electrochemical signal. Exactly, yeah. And that signal is going to tell the cell, hey, it's time to work. It's time to work and to get better, uh, to get better or bigger, yeah. Yeah. To to, to resist. Exactly. For example, they they were uh, talking about this on the uh, Wikipedia page on the the subject. On on, on Wolf's Law? Yeah, exactly, Yeah. yeah. And uh, they said, for example, why the astronaut when they come back, they were they uh, they are um, weak. They they don't uh, they they lost a lot of strength. Mm-hmm. So it's because in space you don't have much stress, as in hurt. Yeah, because no, you're no, no stress. On hurt, you have the the yeah. gravity that pushing you down. Right. So your spine, your muscles around your spine needs, for example, to yeah to to resist this gravity. And mm-hmm. in space, you have no stress, so your cells. Um, I don't know how to say it. They they don't uh, they, they they regress <laughs> they regress totally yeah, yeah. yeah. so they get weaker mm-hmm. so you your body puts uh, less energy in the in the creation of the uh, right. resistance and yeah. force so your body just get uh, weak weaker and weaker mm. it's like, hey, that's why they come they come here they come back and they can't they, they can't can, walk they can't walk they can't they, stand they up. literally they yeah. cannot walk that's they have to do rehab yeah. when they get back here. This is why this is why we're here, and that's where we come and, into. And play. that's the, 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 the main uh, the main thing about the physical therapist, as you mm-hmm. said. The the, the, the domain the um, the profession is based on this on this law. This law, yeah, it is for everything that we do. Yeah, strength, flexibility. Uh, what are we are doing? <laughs> um, well. Um, it's ma- it's ma- it's mainly those those two factors: yeah. strength, also psychological, psychological, psychological yeah. yeah. Because if you conf- yeah. the brain adapts to yeah. it in, in the same way, right. in the same way. Like if you learn a, a new language today, if you start learning, you your neurons are gonna like there's a signal, and then they're gonna make uh, new paths, mm-hmm. and they're gonna connect to different parts of your brain. It's That's exactly a great the yeah. same thing. Yeah. Um, so it's really the basics, the the, the base of our profession, like mm-hmm. you say. Everything is yeah. based on it. Everything is based on it. Yeah. And without yeah. it, we would not be able to get better. Exactly. Or sports to, would not exist. Sport would not exist because it's the, also the main, the, yeah. the, the basic of sports. Yeah. As I talk about the tennis player when they, they mm-hmm. hit the ball, 
if the the their bone was mm -hmm. not was not able to to resist the the, the force, they they would just break. And how yeah. they get uh, better strength? Str strong. It's because it's the the cells adapt to uh, the the resistance that they put in in gym. Yeah. The resistance that they put uh, in work. Yeah. Exactly. So thank you to I think. The name of the the he he was a doctor he was a surgeon. Surgeon also. And I the, don't remember the name. Yeah. Ju Julius Wolf. Yeah, that's right. Julius yeah, Wolf. Yeah. And uh, he um, during the 18th century, uh, well, no, from like early 1900s. In the early 1900s, that's when he uh, discovered this. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. I don't so, know how deep. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, he uh, he was a surgeon. And, you could uh, probably see it, but it's, it's so. He uh, was working a lot with bones, so that so that's why the 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 law is based more on like bone mm. remodeling mm. and all that. But he uh, he did countless operations just on bones, so mm -hmm. he kind of laid the foundation for physiotherapists too, mm -hmm. and also uh, or orthopedics. Yeah. All the orthopedic field of medicine is. He was on one the of the found, thing, yeah. yeah one of the founders of that. That's amazing. German. Imagine. He's a this German Julius Wolf, Berlin. Yeah, Berlin. In Berlin. That's crazy. Yeah. So, anyways, that was a little. Uh, um, parenthesis. Parent. Parenthesis. I don't know what to say. Parenthesis. Parenthesis. There. That's the word. I'm not sure though. Yeah. Parenthesis. Probably. Sounds complicated. <laughs> <laughs> These things. <laughs> But hey, we're getting better from the first one. First one, we were rushing a little bit more. Yeah. Slowly but surely as well. Yeah. As I said the first time. Yeah. Shall we get back to... Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> to, our, uh, to our case here. Okay, so we talked about drugs. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so he, his doctor explained um, that he was uh, at high risk for atherosclerotic <laughs> coronary heart disease. You got it. Yeah. So, what is that? So, uh, okay, so let's decompose the word. So we have atherosclerotic. We so it's talked, not in the vein? It's the... It's the, it's the, the R. It's the first... Um, mm. It's the first thing that... For example, you got the, the, the heart. Yeah. And the first thing that comes after is the artery. The mm -hmm. artery is the, the, the canal that would lead to, uh, for example, uh, muscles, mm. uh, the liver. Yeah. So it would come here and give the blood to the organ. So that's the, the first mm -hmm. uh, the first canal. Yeah. yeah. Arteries, arteries, arteries. Arteries. Away from the heart. Yeah. Arteries so, starts with A, A away from the heart. So mm -hmm. it pushes the blood to the systemic uh, part of our exactly. body. So if we decompose this word, we have atherosclerotic. We talked about atherosclerosis. Yeah. That's good. Coronary. Oh. That's a, that's a new, new concept. Yeah. So it's the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the the canal, the blood canal that will uh, give blood to the the heart. So the heart also needs blood. For yep. for instance, they, it it's uh, pushing blood. Yeah. But to work, it needs blood. So it push hard and it's come back to the coronary. Coronary. Exactly. Arteries. arteries. Yeah. To 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 give blood. Uh, yes. To the heart. Yeah. So. Blood needs a lot of heart. I mean, <laughs> the heart. That, needs, that. <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> The, 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 the heart needs a lot of the blood. The heart needs a lot of blood. Yeah. yeah. To, to, to. Because it's working, so it's, it's pumping what? 300 uh, liters? Uh, I'm not going to get into in, the in, calculation. We said in one hour. Five for you, liters uh, in, in one minute. So, yeah. so it's really active. It needs, yeah. to, it needs blood. And it works the morning, the night, when you're sleeping. So it's 24 hours a day. Yeah. For the rest of your life. Think about that. Yeah. That's uh, that's why it's yeah. an organ that needs a lot of blood. So when mm -hmm. the, the, the the artery of the the heart, the coronary, 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 coronary uh, artery, yeah. when it uh, when something blocks it, mm -hmm. so the the heart will not uh, have, uh, for example, the nutrition, the oxygen. It's, it's uh, and it's at this moment that the heart will have difficulty to pump. Because the, nutri the nutrition will not be enough. The oxygen level will not be enough. Mm -hmm. So it will have difficulty to pump. Yeah. And if you have less blood coming out of your heart, yeah. to go in, for example, your, your muscle, your um, respiratory muscles. Mm -hmm. So you will have difficulty, for example, breathing if you continue like this. But your heart will mm -hmm. uh, 
at first will just stop because yeah. the, 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 the blood will not uh, be effort will not be um will not be enough yeah insufficient sufficient yeah In- insufficient yeah yes so it will just stop yeah and if there's no uh, and so we're talking now so you have so this this disease is pretty much atherosclerosis so mm-hmm. those those lipid uh plaques the, yeah the, the fat yeah yeah the fat in the inside so of the, they can go pretty much in all your arteries of your body but mm-hmm. then they in this condition they end up at the source at the heart yeah and so, the thing that we didn't talk about it's the artery of the heart is really small so yes. the diameter as we saw is uh, as we said it's really small mm-hmm. so if you have just a little bit of fat it will have a better impact of the impact. income of the, the blood on, in the artery yeah. Impact. yeah absolutely and if you have no blood supply to the heart means no oxygen no to oxygen cells. so no nutrient yeah yeah and so if you have this condition you're at risk for stroke is that right uh stroke or um stroke is a uh, is is for the, yeah, the, yeah, the brain the right thing, yeah, um, so how do you call the it? common word is heart attack heart attack yeah. but uh, <laughs> for that word, yeah. you could also say uh the the medical word for heart attack would be uh, infarct right infarct. Is, that, is that the word in english uh myocardial infarct okay yeah, yeah. Infarctus. Yeah. Yeah. So that pretty much and what is just myocardial? means myocardial. My myocardial. Yeah. Refers to myocardium, I guess. I guess. Which means heart muscle. Yeah. So it's the uh, it's between the uh, two uh, segment. I yeah. Should say. Yeah. Yeah. It's the middle of the the heart. It's what it's actually. Not the inside. It's not the outside. It's just in the middle mm, of the yeah. uh, the two uh, segment. Yeah. Yeah. So myocardium, yeah, heart mus- heart so the, muscle cells. So the, the muscle of the heart will not uh, have a, enough uh, blood, so not enough, as we said, oxygen, so, nutrition. Yeah, so then uh, that part, that let, so let's say one artery is blocked, one co- coronary artery is blocked. Uh, do you remember the names of the, let's say one of the coronary arteries? Uh, um, marginal, let's say... Um, Marginal. Which is the one that, that vascularized the, the left ventricle? I thought it was the uh, intraval, um, left intraventricle artery. Intraventricular, yeah, okay. Intraventricular artery, the left intraventricular. Yeah. Okay. That, is that right? I, I, I think so. I think, I think uh, so. It's, really, it's the I'm vein. Sure, it's uh, the, the, the vein. It's the, the, it's the artery. artery that goes in the middle of the heart and vascularizes the, the left ventricle. Yeah. And the left ventricle is the one that's most important. Yeah. And sometimes people say, oh, uh, the heart is more on this side, on the, the left uh, side. It's yeah. because the, 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 the heart is just bigger mm. on the left. Because but of the left it's ventricle. It's like in the middle, yeah. Mm-hmm. The heart is in the middle, but the bigger part, because the, the muscles is mostly here. Mm-hmm. Pumping the blood is yeah. more on the left, so yeah. that's why you, you put your hands here to feel it more. Yeah. Fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> Some people say, "Oh, the heart is on the left." No, it's not. It's not. Yeah. It's definitely not. No. Yeah. Left ventricle, biggest one, mm-hmm. because it pumps the blood. It, it pumps the oxygenated blood, so mm-hmm. like rich red blood, to the rest of your body, to yeah. the entire body, mm-hmm. except your lungs. Right, the lungs. Um, yeah, it was the um, lungs is the other part. It's the um, the left yeah, the, the, the left the, part yeah. of the heart. The left part is is pumping the uh, low oxygen blood. Yeah, into the into uh, the lungs into the lungs to, to the get lungs. more oxygen and then coming back to the comes back. Uh, how do you call it? The little portion just uh, in, to the uh, the the left AV valve, so atrioventricular yeah, uh, exactly. valve. Yeah, yeah. 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 it comes into the left ventricle. And the vent- left ventricle contracts, mm-hmm. and then it goes through the other valve, the uh, a- aortic valve. Exactly. And then aorta through. The cro- aortic cross. A- aortic it's, cross. It do a, like um, a U shape. Yeah. And after that, it's the artery. Right. Yeah. And it goes to the rest of your body. Exactly. And we saw the heart in the, yeah, in the um, uh, anatomy class. So it's a real body. It's a yeah. real. Uh, it's a dead person it's a, cada- it's, yeah. it's a cadaver cadaver yeah 
So they just remove mm -hmm. the, um, the, 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 the part here, the thorax, yeah. They yeah. just put it here. Yeah. And you could see the, the heart, the, the, how hard the, um, the first uh, artery of your... Uh, the... La heart. Aorta. Aorta. A aorta. Got difficult yeah. to remember. Aorta. <laughs> aorta. Yeah. So yeah, you could see it and it's, it's coming back in the uh, yeah. posterior uh, mm. of your body. Yeah. And could see the lungs. Pretty much everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything was there. And do you remember the first uh, cadaver? The first one? With the big... Uh, oh, the big massive... The uh, massive cancer. Yeah, it was as big as the football. Yeah. It was That's huge. Crazy. It was... I did not know that cancer could get that big. A tumor can get that yeah. big. It was insane. It was bigger than any other than you had the liver. Any other organ you had the yet. liver. That the liver is pretty big. Yeah. Obviously, but you had this massive thing. <laughs> just, just, yeah. Yeah. Taking and then, every little space on the. The professor the said, "By the way, that's not supposed to be there." Yeah, and I was okay. like, okay. "What?" I, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not uh, and stupid. Then, so, but when I, I saw it, I, saw, I was like, I don't know this organ. Yeah. I got no idea. It's it's um, stiff and it's was um, mm. like a little bit uh, white. I do believe it was like white with uh, blood vessels on it. Yeah, it had a lot of blood vessels. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot, like and a tumor managed. is vascularized, like you could not believe. That's crazy. One of the things that affects blood pressure, well, there are three things mainly that affect blood pressure. We have diameter, diameter. so the, 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 the actual diameter of the lumen of the artery, mm -hmm. that's one thing, right? If you decrease the diameter, you're going to increase the pressure. Exactly. If you dilate it, you're going to have more, more flow, more, less, less pressure. Mm -hmm. Diameter is one. Other one is blood viscosity. Uh, for resistance, yeah. Yeah. So if you uh, if the resistance is bigger, the pressure mm -hmm. is going to be bigger, obviously. So it's all linked to 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 resistance, right? Yeah. Smaller diameter, more resistance. The blood is, is viscosity. Uh, viscosity, exactly. So and viscosity is dependent on uh, the number of red red blood cells, uh, dependent on. Um, if you have more uh, different proteins inside, yeah. platelets. If but you have more water, it's less viscosity. Because it's less... Um, it's less... Uh, viscotic? I'm not sure. But viscosity is like... A, it's more like an independent... It's, well, it's... You can't really control viscosity as much as you can control diameter. Yeah, yeah. Diameter so, is the... Um, you could control it with the um, muscles around the... Uh, right. The, the artery or the capillar. Yeah. So the, the, the muscles around it are just gonna... Mm -hmm. Compress the artery, yeah. so the resistance gonna mount if you have a yeah. less, uh, if you have a low uh, pressure. Mm -hmm. But if you have a high pressure, it's gonna those uh, get bigger. Yeah. yeah, and those 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 the the small muscle is mainly in the arterioles, I believe. Yeah, like you have your major arteries going, like where the flow is very high, diameter is big. You know, mm -hmm. well we we saw them. You know, like yeah. they're like pipes almost. And then you have your arterioles where they're much smaller, but they have muscle on them. Mm -hmm. And you can control the diameter through the constriction or dilation. That's great. But uh, I was going with the tumor. Yeah, the tumor. The tumor. <laughs> it's very vascular. And the third factor that influences blood pressure is the length. The length of the... The length of the artery. Yeah, the canal. Yeah, yeah. Of, of the canal. And if you think about it, that tumor we saw, we had blood vessels everywhere. That increases the length, the of, length of the yeah of the tube, right? You, and you have less blood in other organs because your your volume doesn't mm -hmm. change. Yeah, you have so less. Yeah, I I'm not sure about this, but probably she had uh, mm. less uh, tension. That's right. That's right. Probably. You have less. I'm, but, I'm not sure about this. But at the same time, I thought you had more. Like, if you have a tumor, you're more at risk for hypertension. Because, because you, you are, increase uh, the length. Yeah. You increase the length. So that's why like, I saw that tumor. I was like, oh my gosh. That's a lot of uh, vascular. Mm -hmm. Also, fun, fun fact. Fat. Fat requires, like, it requires blood vessels. Like, okay, so for every... I looked this up uh, last <laughs> night, okay? And for every uh, kilogram of fat, 
that you accumulate, you have to create at one kilometer of... Kilometer? Are one, you sure about this? Yes. One you, kilometer? You, you have to create one kilometer of, um, of blood vessels. One kilometer? Yes. That's 1,000 meters. <laughs> And, okay, it's either one kilometer... But it's it may That's be it, it may be ten kilometers. I I think it was ten. I think it was ten thousand meters. I, I, okay, I, I'm gonna look this up later. But um, it's either ten thousand. I think it's ten thousand meters, man, of blood vessels. For, the resistance. The, in here just is imagine. Crazy. You're increasing the length by a lot just by but one why? one key because fat is made of fat cells, and fat oh, cells okay. need vas need, wow. need need blood vessels too. Isn't that crazy? So that's why if you're obese, obesity is a high risk for many things, but one of them is high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. That's why. And you're also putting fat, as we talked about uh, Plus, earlier. Yeah. You put fat in your blood vessel, so you're already putting resistance yes. in your, in right. your blood vessel. So, so it's increasing the length of the blood vessel right. will also increase resistance. Yeah. So also will uh, increase... Uh, Pressure, so that's uh, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's uh, one I mean. kg of fat. So think about that next time. Well, um, you're you're fit. You're you're super fit, but uh, I'm, not, I'm I'm all right. But that's why uh, obesity is a, is a high risk factor for so many things. Yeah, and it's increasing in uh, in Canada. Yeah. The the per, the percentage. Kids yeah. are getting bigger, bigger and bigger. Dude, I think <sighs> that's a that's a. Isn't big that like? Yeah. Isn't that what's the stat? I don't remember exactly. I. Uh, isn't that like one out of two? No, it could not be. It's higher than you think. It's mind blowing. Canadians, like one out of fifty percent of people. Because to okay, so to, to, to be overweight, because now For we're kids? talking about just overweight, not yeah. obese. Yeah. I'm not talking about the like the obesity uh, percentage in, in Canada, but just yeah. overweight. Uh it like maybe I'm even over No, you're not. No, I don't know. But you wanna see it? <laughs> no no no, but like uh my ideal weight is a certain uh Certain number of kg, but like I could be overweight by, uh, by just a uh, one kg. No, right? No, I'm not sure. No, no, probably not. But about it, the same, there was uh, a stat like one out of two Canadians is like overweight or something like that. I'm not. Don't don't quote me on that, but it was mind blowing. Really just imagine mind -blowing. one one on three per. Yeah. Three person that. Uh, it's uh, well. it's becoming a huge um, huge problem. Huge problem. And yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a big problem. But hmm, some people say it's video games and uh, electronic, but maybe it have a little big impact. It's but because nutrition also have a big impact. Nutrition, because you, you, this ties into what we said earlier about being lazy. We human beings have a tendency to choose the easiest path. <laughs> what is easier, going to a restaurant or making your own food? Yeah. What's easier? Oh, it's 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 your lunch break. You didn't prepare your lunch. Oh, I'm just gonna grab something quick. But yeah. restaurants in general, even if it's a, if you think it's a healthy meal, it's not that healthy. The amount Salad of salad in McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. The uh, the amount the, of salt. That's crazy. That they put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salt has a link with the uh, blood pressure. It's too. good. It tastes good, but it's not necessarily. Oh, good it's for delicious, <laughs> but your body is like. Jesus. This is not delicious for me. <laughs> like your tongue thinks it's delicious, but yeah. Um, salt is a huge problem too. Salt. Salt. Yeah. Do you know the link between salt and high blood pressure? It's uh, if you have more salt, you will probably have more water to mm. dissolve it to uh, to make it um, liquid. Yeah, I don't know. Um, If you have more uh, salt in your body, mm -hmm. the body will, uh, um, uh, how do you... Um, I think you're, tr you're trying to say uh, retain. Retain, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's re it will retain more water. Yeah. So the volume of blood is going to be higher. And if your, blood, your volume of blood is higher, your 
uh, tension will also be higher because if you have more yeah. things, for example, if I put uh, a lot of water in that bottle mm -hmm. and I push it, mm -hmm. the bottle is going to get bigger. Yeah. So the tension in the bottle is going to be also uh, right. bigger. Yeah. Right. Water, uh, salt follows, uh, water follows salt. Uh, yeah, it's so osmos, osmosis. Osmosis. Yeah. Um, I'm not the, sure. Uh, I, I don't the know. movement of water. The with movement, the, yeah. yeah, the movement of water. So water not follows dissolve salt. dissolve it, because if you have more salt, mm. water is going to come in yes. to, to dissolve salt. Yeah. So it's going to take a bigger right. amount of water. Right. So more water. Yeah. Uh, I think. More, uh, more volume of blood. More volume of blood means high blood pressure. Exactly. Because blood pressure, we talked about the three factors, you know, diameter, length, and viscosity mm -hmm. of blood. But we, we, we really, the main thing is just the amount of water that's in your blood, mm -hmm. right? Last it's night, not because you drink a lot of water that will uh, increase your high pressure. It's, be, it's because no. of it, just to, to people. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you can drink a lot of water, but then you pee it out. Yeah, but that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. Because your it's body uh, don't uh, retain every single right. uh, liter of water. That yeah. You drink. yeah. Um, last night, I ate uh, fajitas. I made some fajitas. That's good. But, uh, you know, I, I don't make the powder myself. I buy the powder. And man, that's, yeah, it, that's the salt when, I, that when I ate it, it, it didn't feel... Uh, I, I didn't feel it was like, <laughs> oh, this is super salty. No. But I oh. ate, uh, you know, three... I was super hungry. I ate three or three fajitas. And uh, before, just like around like two hours later, before bed, I was so thirsty. Yeah. It's, it, it was insane. I probably drank like three bottles. It's But because the, of your, uh, yeah. It's because of the salt. But the funny thing is, is I didn't pee a thing. It just, it just like the three bottles just went in. Mm -hmm. That's it. And it did not come out. So <clears throat> in the end, where is that water going? In my blood. Yeah. You put, it's your oh, other, what is uh, the in uh, English? Kidney. 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 Yeah, it's the kidney that, do, that the, yeah. does the job yeah. to maintain water. It's a uh, filter less uh, volume of uh, blood. Mm -hmm. So it, it, uh, you, you go less to the toilet. Yeah. So if you, uh, if you, you're, I don't know how to say it. If you urine less, if yeah. you go less to the toilet, mm -hmm. <laughs> you will have much higher uh, volume of blood mm -hmm. and that's why that's the same thing as earlier your mm -hmm. resistance will uh, will increase and your heart pressure right. your blood pressure will also increase right yeah kidney so, child salt uh, I mean I, yeah so restaurants and salt mm -hmm. taste delicious but really it's it's normal to uh, <sighs> just uh, yeah. once a time once yeah. a <laughs> yeah Yes, once uh, once in a while it's once okay. Once in a while, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I don't know about about you, but I always try to make my own food. I can't even remember the last time I went to a restaurant. With I COVID, it's difficult. Yeah. Well, plus uh, plus yeah. COVID. You don't want to go to the the restaurant necessarily. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, all right. So we talked about atherosclerotic coronary heart disease. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I'm not sure about the translation for this one. Hmm, what is it? Um, angine. It says oh, as angina. Yeah. It says angina. Angina, yeah. But I, I feel it's not the right... Do you want to look it up? Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's look it up. It's symptoms when you have a heart attack, yes. Is that right? Um, Or it can it? be... Uh, it, it can happen... Oh, it is angina. Angina? Oh, that's a good know. pronunciation, yeah. Let me, put, let me yeah, just yeah. double check because I don't, I don't fully trust Google Translate. <laughs> uh, it is angina, it is. chest yeah. pain. Chest pain. Yeah, okay. Chest pain. So, yes, it can be, be you, you can have angina. It's funny because I have a friend named Gina. Oh, <laughs> so I keep thinking. <laughs> okay. If you can have a heart attack and just before have have angina mm -hmm. but angina can always be there without having a heart attack yeah so angina is just the symptoms the symptoms 
that resemble a lot a heart attack, mm -hmm. just a, at a lesser extent. Yeah, it's uh, when you're, <clears throat> it's your uh, blood that doesn't, uh, I mean, the, the blood doesn't come, it's, um, how do, it's not, uh, hmm, how do I want to, I don't even know in French, it's the, um, when it blocks, but in, uh, in a short amount of time. It's not the... Oh, uh, okay, so it's uh, like intermittent? Yeah, something like this. It comes yeah. and goes. Yeah, and that's something. the engine symptom. Engine. When you're doing, uh, for example, sports mm -hmm. or just exercise, it will come here, kind yeah. of carrying, and will disappear when you right. walk, move. Yeah. Right. So chest pain, I think it was the other symptom. Was the uh, uh, left arm? Was it the left arm? Yeah, I the left like arm. Too. Kind of like a tingling sensation or pain in the left arm. Yeah. And then uh, like a feeling of like uh, being compressed, like a... Yeah. Like your heart, like it feels like everything is cramped up. That's basically what you feel. Well, I've never had a heart attack, but... Yeah, something it's, like... Uh, yeah. Same symptoms as a heart attack, but just uh, less... Heart attack is because your... Every mm. single liter of your blood is uh, blocked in your heart. Yeah. But... Uh, angina is the symptoms when it's uh, as you said uh, just a short amount of time mm -hmm. yeah yeah so angina if you have that you Go are yeah. at risk for having a heart attack 100 percent consult your 100%. doctor yeah. consult your doctor Go check yourself because it's bad. It will happen more often when you're doing exercise. When you're, so when yes. you're feeling big chest compression. Mm -hmm. Not the chest compression, but yeah. your chest. Yeah. Is, uh, pain yeah. chest. A little bit in your left arm. Yeah. Right. It's problematic. Yeah. yeah. It happens during exercise too because heart's pumping harder. Mm -hmm. and then, but it cannot pump harder. Yeah. Like it's stuck. It's jammed. Exact jam. Yeah. And exactly. it's, it's jammed for the same reason we were talking earlier. It links to our... Uh, coronary heart disease there mm -hmm. so you have atherosclerosis you have these like lipid fat plaques that are blocking your coronary arteries mm -hmm. and then it can lead to angina angina yeah and not ant gina <laughs> ant anti anti gina oh. <laughs> okay i'm so slow so risk for angina heart attack yes so as we discussed and possibly heart failure So heart failure is um, cardiac insufficiency, like we were saying earlier. The, mu the, the mu muscle of the, the heart will not uh, be able to contract anymore because you mm -hmm. just um, use yeah. it too much. Exactly. <laughs> just, okay, um, it's too much, yeah. going out, <clears throat> right. <or> break. <laughs> But that's not a good thing when your yeah. heart is uh, it's not good. Is in a, on the break. Yeah. You talked about like, how the heart contracts. Mm -hmm. It's pretty special. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. uh, like heart cells yeah. are very unique. Yeah. They Because the heart is a muscle. Yeah. yeah. Heart is a muscle, but it doesn't have the typical muscle cells that you find in your yeah. skeleton Because when you muscle. want to contract, for example, this muscle, it's your brain that's sending a message here. Yeah. But your heart, uh, most of the cells just contract by themselves. So they don't need the uh, uh, electrical message from your brain to... Uh, To contract. Yes. Yeah. I do believe the only muscle that does this. It is. Maybe uh, the uh, intestine? No, uh, no, it's, uh, no, 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 no. No, it's the uh, it's no, sympathetic really, system. Yeah, no. Or the parasympathetic. It's the only one. It's, yeah, the, it's, it's the only their, one. Their, their unique muscle cells. And uh, yeah, they contract by themselves. So that's why, when you, that, that's why heart transplants are possible. Mm-hmm. You know, the heart's still beating, but it's not, it's not in the body. Yeah. It's because of these, uh, they're called um, auto, auto rhythmic cells. Exactly, so, yeah. Auto, auto rhythmic, so they create their own rhythm. Yeah. <clears throat> it could change with the brain's uh, brain electrical yeah. message. Yeah. But in a normal rate, they just contract right. by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Like right now, we're relaxed. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, the effect of the sympathetic nervous system is probably not... Uh, not uh, activating? Activating yeah. the, uh, those cells. Yeah. But, um, I'm not sure on this, but I'm pretty sure that it's going by... But uh, if, I, if I stand up right now, 
after being sitting down for like an hour, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure a heart rate's gonna go up to increase blood pressure. Uh, to increase, increase blood, blood pressure. pressure. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 stand up, blood pressure goes down. Yeah. Are we are we okay on time? It's uh, maybe uh, 10 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes left. Yeah. yeah. We can we can wrap wrap we can wrap, wrap it up <laughs> with uh, just uh, like how the heart contracts. You know, uh, these unique cells, they create their own rhythm. Mm -hmm. They're, they, they generate an influx, mm -hmm. electrical uh, influx down. This, it basically surrounds the entire heart. And the, each part of the heart will contract at a different time. Exactly. So that not your whole heart pumps at once. Yeah, because the blood's <laughs> going to come out yeah. everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so, precise contraction. Very precise. Yeah. yeah. So you have your ventricle. Yeah. And you have your what the word? Uh, atrium. Atrium. Yeah. Atria. And yeah. they contract the atrium uh, contract at the same time and the yeah. ventricle at the same time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So first, atria, and then the in, the influx goes down to the ventricles. Yeah. So and the ventricle comes to contract yeah. and the atricle um, relax. Right. So the blood comes out the atricle. Mm -hmm goes down to the ventricle. Mm -hmm. So after this, the ventricle will contract, the atricle will relax. Yeah. So the, the blood in the ventricle will push, uh, for example, if we, uh, if we are on the, um, the right side, mm -hmm. it's going to pump uh, in the direction of the lungs. Mm -hmm. And for example, in the left, it's going to pump in the out, in the, the, the famous word, the... Uh, aorta. 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 Yeah. It's a hard word to say. Yeah. Aorta. 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 Uh, yeah. Aorta. And after that, the ventricle will relax mm -hmm. and the atricle will uh, contract right. to push the, the blood back. Right. Yeah. And uh, there's one more unique feature about these uh, cardiac cells. So they can generate their own impulses, mm -hmm. which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then when, it's, when the heart contracts, all of the cells uh, that are within the part of the heart that contracts, they contract at the same time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's like, a, because of their, the, the way that the, the cells are, are connected, mm -hmm. they're, they're connected with tight junctions. Exactly, yeah. And the electrical impulse or signal comes in and it's directly transmitted to the next one that's right next to it. Mm -hmm. So there's no neurotransmitters involved. Exactly. Yeah. It's just you have electro electrical current it goes through and then it goes through all of the cells at the same and time that's really fast and that's the, Extremely the fast. advantage to do it uh, yeah electrical the Electric electrical way because yes. chemistry chemistry um, hormonal uh, like with neurotransmitters exactly neural yeah. neural transmitter it right. will uh, be less um uh, less, less fast, fast. a lot yeah. less fast yeah. yeah and you want to have a, a rhythm mm -hmm. that's kind of fast Yeah. So yeah, that's the uh, the advantage to with to do with the electrical way. Yeah. I think it's I don't know any other part of the body that contracts like that. That's a special muscle. I Because you, you wouldn't uh, want uh, you wouldn't want your bicep to contract all at once. No. <laughs> instantaneously. Yeah. But you want your heart to contract like that. Yeah. Because it has a pretty hard job. Yeah. <laughs> it's the so, yeah, it's the only one. Electrical signaling. Yeah. Very efficient. Um, it just popped out. It just my phone just popped out. My phone is trying to tell me something. It's like one hour and thirty two. Like, dude, you What? guys, one hour and thirty two. We're good, good. Is there anything else we could um, to wrap this up? Maybe. Uh, I think the slogan. case study is pretty finished. It's pretty much finished. You are what you eat. That's yeah. it. You are what you eat. Yeah. Yes. And take uh, take care of your heart because it's the um, yeah. It's the, I mean, with your brain, it's the uh, mm -hmm. it's more most important uh, right. organ in your entire body. And If we, you don't take care of your heart, will have so much uh, yeah impact of on every single uh, aspect of your life. Exactly, every system in your body, yeah. every yeah. And cardiovascular, cardiovascular disease is the, I think it's like one of the number, like the top uh, cause of death. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. Uh, 
and uh, you know if you take care of, of your heart you just uh, increase Re- your chances of living longer yeah. by a lot and it's not the just the the, the longer aspect it's Just a better... Better uh, quality of life. Exactly, yeah. Because cardiovascular disease is, is linked with so many other conditions. Some people is like, oh, I, I don't want to live uh, until uh, 100 years old. Yeah. But it's the quality that you, get, that you, mm. that you earn just by, uh, right. just by you know, taking care of your heart. Yeah. That's the m- most important thing, I do believe. The quality. Yeah. Because you can live until, for example, 60 years old, but if your quality is not... Mm-hmm. great it's not uh, it's not, it's not worth it yeah it's not worth it yeah yeah and we don't I think we don't talk about the heart as much as we should be we're always talking about you know exercising your arms your legs your chest yeah but it will uh, have an impact on your uh, it will well, yeah. it will because you pump um, more and for sure but um, endurance training uh, any kind of cardio Cardio, cardio is, is, yeah. is under underrated. You think? Car- I do. I think yeah. it's... Uh, yeah. I, I But it's very it's, important to, yeah, to, yeah, to yeah, work yeah. on cardio. your... Like to, to specifically target your heart. Yeah. Not just... Go run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go run. You just... Yeah. Just sometimes um, lifting weight is not enough. It's not... It, it's it's yeah. not bad. It's, no, it's... It's actually very good yeah, for your it's, heart. It's really good, yeah. But there's a way that you can train... Uh, you can train just your heart. Or like have a focus... A training focused on, on your heart, mm-hmm. which is not something that we do. You know, when you go to the gym, do you think, oh, I'm working out my heart? It's, it's, it's in not... The, uh, in the, indirectly, yeah. It's like, today I'm going to do arms. Today I'm going to do chest. Yeah. But you, you, you never really say, today today I'm going to do my heart. Probably, you, you yeah. should go at least once a week, go run maybe Or five minutes. Yeah. And if you can't run, you just do something else. Just uh, walk. Just walk. walk. Yeah, just walk. walk. But at least do it. At least once a year, uh, once a year, once a week. Don't don't quote my words. <laughs> once, once a week, yeah. Once a year, yeah, not sure. Yeah, once a week. Once at a week, least. at least, at least. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. So you are what you eat. Take care yeah. of your heart. Exactly. And uh, shout out to Julius Wolf, German. Uh, Thank you German, very much. German surgeon to create jobs. who <laughs> created the foundation that who the foundation for physio. Yeah, exactly. And orthopedic surgery. Okay. Have a nice one. See you. <laughs> See you next time.